David from Cooking Chat here. One great way to learn more about wine is to find a good local wine shop that has regular tastings. There just happens to be a great one right in our area here in Winchester, Mass. Pairings Wine and Food. Every Saturday they have a tasting with a lineup of six wines along with food pairings. Today, as a special bonus, they actually have a winemaker here from Italy. So let's go learn uh, about some of her wines from, from Italy and see what they taste like. start by telling us a little bit about yes. where your winery is located, what, what it would look like if we could get a l wonderful chance to visit you. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are Rizzieri Wine Company. We are located in Diano d'Alba. Diano d'Alba is a very small village in the heart of Lange area. Lange, we are in the southern part of Piemonte. Piemonte is a region northwest Italy, border to France. So that's where we are. Lange, as a read, as an area, has been awarded as UNESCO Heritage in 2014. So it's very good place to visit, and you are more than welcome to come and visit our winery, to walk around our vineyard, and to taste our wines. We are a boutique winery, very small. We own nine hectares. Six and a half are vineyard, and then we have we have three hectares of trees that surround the vineyard. That's very important for the microclimate uh, and for the insect population that affect the wine production. The insects, really? Yeah. Oh, tell yeah. us more about the insects. <laughs> how do how the insects help yeah, with the wine production? Yeah, the insect bite mm -hmm. eat the bad insect of the plant. So it's uh, very important to have this uh, this stuff uh, oh. alive to keep it alive. It's a natural process. And yes, and we are not biologic certified, but we work in that way mm. as a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So we avoid any use of chemicals. Mm -hmm. What we do, we check when uh, the rain, the insect population, and when it's needed. We have not yeah. a fixed schedule. Yeah. Just when it's needed, we use copper in our uh, vineyard. Wonderful. Even we do not use fertilizer. We do natural mm -hmm. fertilization. Yeah. That means that we grow peas, beans, mm -hmm. herbs in mm -hmm. between one line and another. So then cutting the grass with the rain, we naturally feed the soil. Oh. So we'll try that to keep wonderful. it as natural as we can. Super. Can you tell us about that white wine that is waiting there for you? Yes, it's a pleasure. So that's our Langernais. That's 100% Arnais, mm -hmm. the white grape growing in Lange area. Uh, our Arnais has a fantasy name that's Arbia. <laughs> Arbia comes from our dialect, Piemonte dialect. It means smart. Specific, you say to a little boy when he's smart more than others, we say you are Arbia. And so that's what we would like about our white wine to be Arbia, to be smarter than others. And it's a white grape that gives very floral, white flowers notes in the nose, with little minerality and savory in the mouth, and at the end comes acidity that cleans your mouth. This is a white, goes very well with the fish dishes, light pasta dishes, but also appetizer, or even it's a very good welcome glass just mm. to welcome the dinner. Perfect. And now can you tell us about the Barolo? And can you include also, you were telling me a little bit about the growing conditions of 2013 in particular. That would be yeah, great to hear so about. Barolo is our big boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the wine of the king, what we say, the king of the wines. Mm -hmm. It's the most well-known bread wine coming from Piemonte region. Uh, it is made with 100% Nebbiolo grape. It has yeah. to be. We grow Nebbiolo in La Morra village, where we own one hectare of a vineyard. The wine has been aged 24 months in big barrel. As a tradition from our region, the barrels are Slavonian oak, and they are 50 hectoliters big, so big cask. Uh, it is a 2013 vintage. Mm -hmm. It is a very good vintage, five stars vintage. Uh, we got in that summertime, we got perfect uh, balance between rain and sunny days. So the rain feed the plants, and the sunny days let the, the grapes, the bunches mature. So when we pick up the grapes, we have the perfect maturation degree of the of the grapes. And so mm -hmm. that we get. 
And I could taste that in the glass. I thought it was very elegant, Parola, very, very wonderful. And we heard they're almost out here. Hopefully you have more. <laughs> yes, we have more. We have more. <laughs> so, Perfect. Yeah. Glad, good news. Thank, thank you for joining here. My pleasure. Thank you.